and welcome to Homeowner Talk. My name is David Stone, and I'm the president of Nevada Association Services. And this is my co-host, John Leach, who is a partner in the law firm of Leach, Johnson, Sung, and Gruco. Each episode, we'll be here to talk with you about important homeowner topics. We, along with our guests, are here to provide you, hopefully, with useful and very, uh, very good information on these on subjects. We also want to encourage you to interact with us and our guests each episode, so please visit our website at homeownertalktv.com and send us your questions. We will try to answer as many of your questions as we can on the air and online. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting show. Today we're going to be talking about technology and how it affects homeowners association. Please welcome Barbie Moran of First American Title and Joe Russo, owner of GetDocsNow.com, to talk about how technology has changed the real estate and HOA industry. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Let's start with you, Joe. Why don't you tell our viewers just a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you got involved in, in this industry. Great. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Um, been in real estate for 25 years, about 15 years in Maryland, 10 years, last 10 years here in town, a uh, broker of my own company. And, you know, just delivering documents across town as agents when we're doing the business is really inefficient. So one day, about 10 years ago, my ex-partner and I came up with an idea for Get Docs Now, and we pursued making it. And how did you, how did you get this? So your experience in the real estate industry was you were doing the real estate side, the sales or whatnot, and so you had to have the documents to close, and we get to talk to Barbie about that in a minute. But in your experience, was how do we get it done quicker so that sales are not jeopardized? Or anything? If we're in our car going to pick up documents, go to the bank, get a cashier's check, which was required for us to get the documents, and then take time to bring them to our client, the best thing to do is maybe make that an online process. So that's where the thought came from, saving time. The same thing whittles down to what we do now, which is really save people time, and time equals money. And so effectively, we, we help people's bottom line by helping them streamline their back-end processes through GetDocs Now. And you're in a number of states, correct? You're not just... Across just, the country. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's exciting. So, again, so for our, for our viewers, those that are, that are either on boards or management, uh, work in management, uh, your service are to help get those things, get those documents out quicker. Basically. That's kind of your slogan. Use get them you, out. At the documents at the speed of net. Yep. Exactly. And you just log online to get docsnow.com, and then you search for the homeowners association that you need the documents for you use your credit card and that's pretty much it it all, it all gets uh, e emailed out and if you pay by credit card you get your documents immediately if it goes through a uh, title company where they may be able to pay by check it takes a little longer but well within the legal timeline and not all deals naturally uh, go through some fall through it's, it's, so is there something built into the system to accommodate for those deals that never seem to to make it anywhere yeah we definitely can refund money uh, in our system for those documents pretty much all sales are final because we don't know if it's going to go but if it's close enough we work with clients all the time to refund money if we need to you know we just finished a legislative session the legislature every two years meets and they change sometimes the requirements of what documents need to be provided at uh, resale and you know, how much you can charge for documents that keeps changing all the time and again this year how have you adapted to the changes uh, in the HOA industry in the real estate industry as well well being involved with the different groups CEI in Nevada um, and just being on boards and active uh, being in front of the issues and the laws, uh, we are immediately adapting that to changing the back end of our site. So we're current. Anyone that plugs into our site is uh, abiding by the law. Now, law is interpreted, and so there's always a gray area of time after it's passed that you have debates on what did it really mean, what did this one word change, you know, want two people looking at the same thing, see two different things. So we have adjusted the site to be the same thing, be what it needs to be for both. It can turn on a feature or off a feature. So we're very flexible. Once it's determined that this is not how we're doing it, we immediately change it. So we're very flexible, agile in the market, and we're tailor-making the site. It's never finished. It's always being worked on and upgraded. And I would assume that's probably the biggest challenge that you have to uh, adjust to the, the gray areas in, in statute and uh, with the various states. It all means coding hours from Reliant to go in and change something or add something to it, because if it's not current, then you're not doing your ser uh, service to your clients. Great. Barbie, let's, let's uh, switch gears here just a minute. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about your background uh, and uh, the role that you play as an escrow officer. Um, I'm an escrow officer with First American Title. I've been with them for nine years. Uh, we process the transactions, order demands, and close the files. So the GetDocsNow.com really helps to get the demands quickly and close and be able to track them, which is demands usually what slow us down to be able to close a file. So when you talk just for our viewers, they understand the demand. You're, you're trying to close, 
There are certain things that uh, the seller must provide to the buyer, and you can't close without them. Mm -hmm. Some of those are going to be documents or information regarding if monies are due to various parties and whatnot. And so you send that demand out. To whom do you normally direct the demand? To whom do we direct it, send yeah. it to? Well, the, our demands we send to the sellers and the HOA res resale packages would go to the agents okay. so they can get them to their buyers. And as part of the HOA resale package, then we need to kind of use the services of get docs now so that we can get those things and you can proceed quicker. Yes. So can you give us uh, an example, someone that's not familiar with how the process works? I understand a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I I'm purchasing a house now from a homeowners association. John's representing me. You're doing a great job, by the way. Thank I appreciate you. that. Yeah, that. For that 1%. I mean, I, what I like different. is that you're hiring someone. That's what, that's what they do that on the East yeah, Coast. Out here, right. we just use title companies. You're right. not here. Um, so <laughs> we open up an order with, with you. Now, mm -hmm. take it from, from that point. Where, where do we go and how does getdocsnow.com come into play and dealing with the management companies, the collection agencies, and so forth? Well, once the order is open, then we order a title report and see what's on the title. And usually if there's a homeowners association, we have to order a demand to see if the seller's current, what the dues are and what the transfer fees are. So that's where we would go to getdocsnow.com to order the demand. The seller also has to provide a resale package to the buyer um, by law before they can close, so that would be ordered. And for closing, we pay everything current and that's property where we get taxes the amounts and, from and the sewer property taxes. And anything else, any lids or any sort of county uh, expenses that's all paid at the closing? Yes. So, so your experience has been that by being able to access, can you do that yourself? Yeah, or I can go online and order them myself and I'll get a code that I can give to the agent to pay the upfront fee. And that way I can track it directly when we're just faxing demands to companies. We have no way of tracking to make sure that they received it, if it's being yeah. processed, so it makes it a lot easier. Silence is golden. They send that demand out there and they're wondering what black hole it fell into. Um, so again, so the portion of the transaction requires the documents. You can do that yourself, expedites the process completely. You don't have to wait on anybody. You're not expecting somebody else to, who's maybe on vacation doesn't see the request for days. You get that part done quickly. Yes. And have you found that that's been uh, helpful in your industry as far as actually being able to close and, and to, to satisfy the buyer seller? Yeah, definitely, because we can close quicker, and if we don't get the demand right away or if something were to come up, we can track it and let them know what's going on and give them a time frame. So it makes it a lot easier, and they feel a lot more comfortable knowing that we have a time frame. So you know, being in the foreclosure business that I am, having my finger on the pulse of the uh, real estate business, people are always asking me, so what's going on with the real estate industry? So I'll ask you just real quickly, I mean, what's the trend that you're seeing now as far as real, are, are deals happening, are, are numbers up, are they down, are deals falling out, short sales, I mean, what, what do you, short what do you see out there? Short sales are definitely up, they're starting to close, the banks are approving them a lot quicker now, so the short sales are becoming more of a trend, we still have a lot of bank owned properties, but. And is that still a huge are. chunk of the business, the REO or bank owned properties, yes. those are still a majority, I think at one point there were about 50 or 60 percent of all of the transactions were bank owned properties or properties in foreclosure, so you're still seeing that. Yeah, it's still a lot of bank loan, but the short sales are starting to actually close and quicker. Are you, are you finding any conflict between the lenders and the HOAs with the short sales? No, they've been okay. paying the delinquent if there is delinquent on them. and so there haven't been an good. issue at all. So, so Joe, you mind us coming back? <laughs> I just, I, in your experience, because you, you've been in the industry as, as, as an agent, now you're doing the documents, kind of kind of put a bow around all this. How are you, how do you see the technology working today and are there things that we can do better? What, 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 what can we in the industry do better to either facilitate the transaction or again to make our clients happier? What, what do you see? We can always do things better and that's what we strive to do, always try to improve. Uh, if it ain't broke, we break it and we're trying to make it better because our competitor will do it if we don't. Um, being in the technology field with Reliant, it keeps us cutting edge on programming languages, um, projects that are in the now. We do in apps now. We do uh, smartphone apps. So we're trying to figure a way to apply smartphone apps to the industry that I'm heavily in, which is the community management associations and the homeowners associations. So community managers will be thrilled to know that on a Sunday they can whip out their their smartphone and start playing with their apps to get the uh, demands going through. They're going to really appreciate that. I don't know that. why they think that weekends. No, I, <laughs> but, but I do, I, I think the thing again that's most important is because, you know, the, the laws give us a certain amount of time within which to do things and, and sometimes that's really not convenient for the parties that are in the transaction and associations tend to, you know, you have to do a resale package within a certain period of time and sometimes that'll sit 
and you know, be lawfully it can sit. But in reality, when you can do so many things without involving a third party, it's got to be a positive. And in the last five years, what have you seen on the escrow title side of things, escrow as far as technology goes or changes in the industry, other than it's slowing down for a period of time anyway? What, it what is. Have you seen? But the technology really helps. We can close things a lot faster and follow up on things a lot faster <laughs> than we could before. So. Fewer, fewer mistakes. Yes. Thanks for cleaner title and it's very happy title. More companies. streamlined and not as it doesn't take as long to close a file as it did. Okay. And and uh, so First American Title. Do all of your escrow officers use the services? Of get now. How, how does that work? How, is it individual? Is it the company wide? How, how does that work? Well, the home. Homeowners Association that uses GetDocsNow.com when they're the Homeowners Association on a property that we Okay, so that. they need to be networked in there because otherwise yes. it wouldn't do any good to log on because there's no, no docs right. there. Okay, so we up. need to encourage our homeowners associations to get online here so then it makes the, the process better. And one of the things we co constantly tell our clients is a lot of times decisions are made and it's just to help our homeowners. It's just like the recertification with FHA. You do it so that they have more opportunity. You, you, now they can make the, the services better for their, for their I think homeowners. change for anybody is a little bit scary at times and trying to get them to sort of throw this over to get docs now might be a bit of a challenge for them because they have to relinquish a little bit of control and that's probably something you're always dealing with to try to they say it's get okay. a lot of control back. So if I had a chance to talk to people about it, the perception of control is a very interesting thing. I think to get a lot more control using a system. It's all education really perhaps. appreciate your insight. Uh, most of us don't know all the intricacies and uh, the technolo technological changes that you guys just use on a daily basis. So thanks so much for the education. Great. Thank Joe and Barbie, thank you very much. The industry has certainly changed quite a bit. Um, thanks for being with us, both of you. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back.